So for Apple Shampoo, there's not really an intro, it just starts off with the verse, so she didn't mean to uh, deceive you, believe me. It's going to be uh, like this. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the first note you kind of let it ring out for ages and just you know listen to the song to get the timing right. And it's going to be your index finger on fret three, string five, your ring finger, fret five, string number four, and your little finger, fret five, string number three. Okay, and like I said, just let that ring out for quite a while. You know, just listen to the song to get the timing again. And uh, from there, then it's your index finger onto fret two, so you're covering strings three and four. But uh, don't cover string five. We're going to play this didn't twice. So okay, you can go downwards twice or down and up. Doesn't really matter. So you do that, and then index finger onto fret one, string six, ring finger fret three, string number five, and your little finger fret three, string number four. Didn't. Okay. Then back to that shape at fret two. Okay, and then all the way up. So your index fingers on fret five. String number five, your ring fingers on fret seven, string four, your little fingers on fret seven, string three. One, two, three, four. Okay, then back down to that shape at one and three. And then as soon as you've played that, what we're going to do is jump down with your index finger so it's covering strings one and two and just play strings one and then two. Okay, so it's a, it's a quick sort of switch like that. Okay. And if you want to, like, there's another way to play that, and that would be by um, barring every string here with your index finger, so really holding down like that, so then you can stay in that chord shape. Okay, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to hear it, okay? So uh, I'll play it again then, and it should sound something like this then. Okay, so that's the verse. So the interlude's going to sound like this then. It's basically just a power chord shape and we're just picking notes out of it. So. Okay, and then just let the notes all ring together. So what we're doing there then is your index finger on fret 3, string number 5, ring finger on fret 5, string 4, your little finger, fret 5, string number 3. So like I say, it's a power chord shape. We're going to pick strings 3, 4, 5, okay, and then 3, 4, 3, so, okay, look at the tab, we're going to do that twice, yep, from there we're going to pick string 3, and then string 2 open, okay, so, and then strings 4 and 3, and four and three. Okay, so. Okay, and then back to that first um, little pattern. So. All right, so that's the four different sections, or well, three of them are the same, and in total, again, it'll sound like this then. Okay, so that's the uh, interlude there then. So now we're on to the next verse. The uh, and she said it can never survive and it's going to sound like this okay so a typical kind of blink uh, riff there then and what we're going to be doing if you look at the tab every time we play string five it's going to be palm muted okay so that kind of thing every time we play string four it's not going to be okay and what we're going to do then is put your middle finger on fret 3, string number 5, and your index finger on fret 2, string number 4. So, okay, so there's the two notes. And then, like I said, when we play string 5, it's muted. When we play string 4, it's not. So, we're going to play string 5 and then 4. Then string 5 twice. String 4. And then back to string 5. Okay, and that's a pattern all throughout this. So, okay, then from there, we're 
we're going to put our ring finger onto fret 3, string number 4, and do the same pattern. So, yep, yeah. and from there, well, what we're going to do is try and stretch over with our little finger onto fret 5, string 4, and it doesn't matter if your index finger and your ring finger move, just make sure that your middle finger stays on fret 3 and okay then back now to uh, putting your ring finger back onto fret 3 string 4 so and in total I'll play it nice and slow it'll sound like this So that's the verse there then. So the chorus, uh, it comes in from where this Mark sings, uh, but I'll never be that cool. I never wanted to hold you back. And it's going to be like this. Alright, so uh, just some simple power chords and finishing off with the you know, shape that we did in the first verse. So index finger onto fret 7. Onto fret 5, string 7, your ring finger, fret 7, string 5, your little finger, fret 7, string number 4. We're going to go do 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 six times. Okay, do 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 do. If you look at the tab, we're going to do that twice and then slide all the way down to frets 3 and 1 and do that same pattern twice. So. Okay, something like that. From there, all the way up, uh, back up to fret 7 and 5. Okay, same stuff. And then just go down a string, play that 8 times, and then back up to fret frets 1 and 3. I'm going to play that and then do the... Okay, like we did in the verse, so... Alright, so that's chorus A and B there, so uh, all together again... Okay, that's chorus A and B.